Hello, Eric. Uh, it's Teresa. So, c concern number one. This grain is a horizontal grain that goes this way. And just on the other side of the stove, this grain is a vertical grain going this way. When I selected the granite at MSI, Min was very careful to steer me away from pieces that could only give vertical grain. There were some that the entire slab was vertical. And I actually did not think that that was unattractive. It was attractive. But he steered me away from that and he said that he set aside three slabs so that we would not have this problem. Now, with this piece that is on the vertical grain, if you come to the seam, which you can see very easily here, and I, I really am concerned why they couldn't match this better. Because, again, you have the, now the grain is matching here on this area. It's horizontal here, and it's also horizontal there. But look at the jarring quality of the two pieces where, they, where the seam is. It's very jarring because it goes from the piece on the left that has a lot of movement to the piece on the right that has very little movement. And this is most concerning of all. Um, Corey, the installer, noticed this. If you look here at the design and go back to this piece here, they match exactly we measured them so this piece was probably cut off at this place right here okay and that's fine but with a third slab the piece that was behind this should have been used for this piece here so that we could get some kind of matching here you know here and here where there's a lot of movement And I, I'm questioning where that third slab went. <clears throat> so this is the first two concerns. Concern number one is this mismatch. The, this looks obviously horizontal, and then right next to it, obviously vertical. And you notice it in the grain, but you particularly notice it along the front edge here. It's, it, to my eyes, it's very mismatched. I asked the installers if they noticed it. They said, absolutely. That's concern number one. Concern number two is the lack of appropriate joining here. It, it's, it's not a good visual connection. I don't know how to say it better. Those are two concerns. There are two more concerns. The, other, the third concern is, of course, this gouge here, which you are aware of. And then the fourth concern is something that I have mentioned to you, but and, and Corey and Cameron did send you photos on the day of installation. In two places, they broke the tiles on the backsplash, and they said that Granite Design would, would take care of the repair. So this tile here was smashed. as was, and I'm going to the other side of my kitchen now. On the other side of the kitchen, this tile here was also smashed. Now, <clears throat> I went down to the basement and found some replacement tiles and popped them in there myself. But someone who knows what they're doing needs to glue behind them and do the grouting, which I don't know how to do the grouting correctly. So um, I, I'm going to reiterate, please uh, accept it as not a comment on anyone's um, prowess, but more that I'm trying to make sure that we're very, very clear because doing this long distance seems to me to be difficult. Problem number one is the grains not matching here. Problem number two is the lack of matching at the seam. Problem number three 
is the gouge that needs to be fixed. I know that Yvonne can do that well. And problem number four is two tiles that need to be glued and grouted. Okay, sorry the video is so long. I hope it's helpful.